Okay, you guys, so... Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to share some information with you guys that I do sell makeup on Facebook now. I am a part of a makeup group, so if you guys are interested in buying makeup from anybody else, not just me, you can buy makeup, you can sell your own makeup, and you can trade makeup. Um, it just depends on what a person wants to do. For me, I like to sell mine, but if you have something that I'm interested in, I will definitely be willing to do a trade for anything. Um, so I just wanted to show you what I have listed on the Facebook thing. I'm going to have a link to all of my selling posts down below for you guys, as well as the group that you have to join. So all you have to do is just say join group, wait for your, um, wait for the admin to accept you into the group, and then you can start buying my makeup. So I'm going to show you everything that I have listed as of right now, but, um, I'm filming this in advance, so I will let you know if any of these have sold out, but I just wanted to let you know that if you are on Facebook and you check it frequently and you're into buying makeup and you want something cheaper than Glambot, then this is definitely the wall for you. They have like brand new in box items and gently used. All of mine are gently used, swatched, and maybe used like a handful of times on myself but I'll tell you which ones are that when I get into the products that I'm selling I do have lots but my items can be separated if you just want like one from this lot and one from this lot just so you know I'll just have to uh, break down the price for you even more um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the lots as I talk about it it's gonna go up on the screen so that you guys know how much it is and if it's been sold or not also if you do buy from me I'm gonna give you a cute little note a cute little note on a cute little card. It could be these, it could be some other ones, and then I might probably give you like little samples that I have that I just don't use or just random things that is pointless for me to sell because I paid barely anything for it. So I'll just give you something extra in the package. Not every time, but I'll try to do that a lot of the times. Or I might go to Dollar Tree and pick you up like a whole new thing, you know, like because they have like Maybelline and really good products there. So yeah, uh, I'll try to be all cute and stuff like that um, when I sell my makeup. So if you guys are interested in it, go check out the links, join the group, check out my listings, check out everybody else's listings, and let's just start talking. Okay, so I have a lot that uh, that has seven lip products in it, um, and you might be thinking, ew, how can you disinfect lip products? Um, I can tell you for a fact, I have not worn any of these on my lips except for this one right here. This one I have worn on my lips, the others have all been swatched on my hand, and I just never use them. I prefer other things that I have over these, so uh, I'm trying to get rid of them, but we'll see. So, I'm a Hard Candy Mouthing Off Sheer Lip Shine in Love Dove, just like a pinky kind of shimmer. And then I have four of these Beauty Secrets, um, trop, like Dazzling Lip Glosses. There's one in Sangria, Tropics, Daiquiri, and Berry? And Berry. So, they're just fun. They smell really good. I just never use them. And then this one, I've never used either. But it smells so good. This is the Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in Ginger Glitz. I swatched it on my hands, but I have not put it on my lips. And then this is the Ulta Lip Crayon in Sweet Dreams. And again, uh, only been swatched on the hand. I have only worn the pink one on my lips. One time. Okay, and then also within that lot with the seven lip products... I'm selling two highlighters. Again, all of these can be separated, or if you just want this one, or if you just want this one, or if you just want these and not the lip products, we can do that. Just make a deal with me. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret All Over Powder and Candy Girl. It's just like a pink body mist with like a sifter in here. I have used this, but very lightly, and it's literally, I tried to use it as a highlighter is what my main purpose was, and it's too pink for my skin tone. I'm like so white, it's too pink. Same for this one. This is by Sonia Kashuk, and this is in Angelica, and this one I have swatched like a dozen times, and I've used it I think once, maybe two times. It comes like a powder puff, and it also has a sifter, so yeah. That's what that looks like, but everything that I'm selling before I ship it out is going to be disinfected with alcohol and all of that stuff and wipes, so I'm really going to disinfect these really well for you because as you can see there are like 
fingerprints all over these. So I'm going to definitely clean them up for you guys. So that's the price for that lot right there. And then for my next lot, I'm selling four items. Three are drugstore and one is more high-end from like Ulta or Sephora or wherever. Um, so I'm first... I have the Hard Candy Powder Keg in Delinquent, which is like a brown shade. I have an e.l.f. Um, I've never used this. The e.l.f. Pigment Eyeshadow in Golden Goddess I have used on my eyelids, but literally a handful of times. It's just got a sifter in here. Um, this one I've only swatched on my hand. This one I've swatched a bunch of times, but I've just only worn it on my eyes a couple of times. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio in Bronze Blowout, like Neuralize Duo. I have only used this color, I think, on my eyelid and not the other one and it's been swatched a heck of a lot as well um, so that's in there and then for the high-end product I've got a Bare Minerals eye eyeshadow in Pacific Heights and I've never worn this and I just recently just swatched it the other day for the very first time um, but it's just like a taupey lilac gray I don't know weird color but it's just not my thing I guess um, so that's how much that lot is selling for there. And then I also have a palette that's by itself, but if you saw anything else that you want to put together, um, just let me know. This one I have used on my eyes like a handful of times, probably like five times, and I've swatched um, these two colors specifically a lot, and then I just swatched this color like a day ago um, when I was like, should I keep it, should I not? So this is like a Flirt Cosmetics quad I guess. Um, really decent sized like uh, size of these shadows. I just have a ton of stuff like this and I have a MAC one that I prefer uh, more but um, yeah that's just that. If you want to add it with something else we can and I can like make the price lower instead of like making it because I think this is like 12. I'm, still, I'm trying to sell it for 12 but I'll probably sell it for less just because that seems like a lot now that I think about it. So um, that's the price it is now. Okay, and then lastly, I have these two, whoops, these two discontinued MAC mineralized eyeshadows. So these are currently in the process of being purchased, but I, this is my first time selling anything on here, so I'm waiting to see if the money comes through and all of that jazz. Um, so as of right now, they are still up, but you already know if they've been sold. Um, but basically this is MAC Persuasive in these like blue shades. There's a navy, a light blue, and a silver in the middle. And then this one is Danger Zone. And it it has a red, silver, and a black. And um, this one got like really beat up. There are like dings in it and stuff. So I do apologize. Um, but this one seems to be fine. I've never used these on my eyes. I've only swatched them and... That's it. I just never wanted to use them. I bought this one because it's my like state colors. It was my school colors. So I was like, yes, I have to have it, but I never used it. So these are retailing for the both. Both of these items are not retailing, but I'm selling these two items for $20. Um, my prices don't include shipping, but we can make a deal. You just ask if you want the price to be lowered within reason. So um, you guys already know if these have sold those. So I am sorry about that. They did. And that's pretty much it. I am doing a huge declutter. I'm going to be doing nail polish declutter as well. So I'll probably be selling some nail polishes on there. And I'll probably update you guys on my sellings um, if they're not going. Just so you know what's there if you aren't on that group or anything like that. Um, I do take PayMail or PayPal payments as well as um, a possible money order. But there are certain rules for a money order if you want to send that through the mail. So anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Check out all the links down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.